what's up what's going on guys what's happening today we got some breaking news again i mean i'm glad we got the, this news out of the way because it makes it's gonna make like making predictions on the draft making predictions on free agency much more clearer now we know who's gonna be the head huncho well, big dog in philly so, excuse me if I pronounce his name wrong, because I'm not going to lie. I didn't know much about this guy until today. And his name is Nick Seriani. Seriana Seriani. I'm, I'm saying Seriani. I could be wrong. But, guys, Nick is the now former offensive coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts. He was the offensive coordinator for the past three seasons. Frank Wright scooped him up. So, you know, we had our best days under Frank Wright. And, you know, if we could have had Frank Wright as our head coach, beautiful, but obviously that wasn't going to happen. And, of course, Frank Wright it was just too amazing to stay an offensive coordinator, so he found himself a head coaching job with the Colts. We know Frank Wright had Carson Wentz looking his best. And who better to have as the next head coach than Frank Wright's brainchild? of Nick. So we're going to get into this, guys. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and turn your notification bell because we have a lot of stuff to talk about this season. And this offseason especially is going to be crazy. We pretty much got draft profiles. We got, we're got we going to have free agency cuts, free agency, who should we sign? Because I know we're over the cap, but it's still wiggle room, and it's still stuff you can do to do what you want with these guys with um, – lesser contracts or is just going to be expecting less money so make sure you turn on notification bells and keep rocking with me also there is a link in my bio if you want to buy me a coffee and help fuel the channel now let's get into it now first i know we had an interview set up with eric the enemy and i know eric can't be hired yet because he is still in the playoffs winning like some of these other losing coaches and losing, of course, offensive coordinators. But it is frustrating to see Eric B. I mean, the only place left for him to go now is the Texans. We see these guys, these Caucasian dudes, getting hired all the time. They be having two seasons getting fired, one season getting fired because people would rather hire some random young guy who then – hire somebody like Eric B. Enemy, a guy who has plenty of experience playing under one of the best coaches, best offensive minds and Andy Reid, has coached one of the best offenses in the NFL, has coached what y'all call him, y'all sing the highest praises to Patrick Mahomes, one of the guys who has a hand in his development, a guy who's got a Super Bowl in Eric Bieniemy, but yet of course, Airbnb is getting passed up on all of these coaching opportunities, and a lot of people want to blame it on, oh, he's in the playoffs, so he can't get interviewed yet. Come on now. You can wait two weeks. You can wait two weeks. This is the, like the third year that Eric's been passed up as a head coach, and it's just tiring to see these black coaches getting passed up on, on a league that is built on black athletes, but these black coaches – don't get a chance and you only get a chance if you're Mike Tomlin and you're winning every year and you're making the playoffs every year you got to be darn near perfect to hold a head coaching job as a black man in the NFL versus a random white dude who's bouncing around offensive coordinator and passing game course coordinator roles and then all of a sudden they're oh the perfect dude for a head coaching role yeah whatever but let's talk about Nick since he is the guy who's going to be in Philly now so 2014-2015, uh, he was the Chargers quarterback coach when Frank Wright was the offensive coordinator for the Chargers. So he has been working with Frank Wright since 2014. So he definitely has been soaking up plenty of knowledge that he can from Frank Wright. And like I said, Frank Wright had our offense looking stellar. He had Carson Wentz looking like an MVP. He had us in the Super Bowl with Nick Foles as a backup guy. He was able to turn Nick Foles into a Super Bowl MVP. So Frank Wright's mindset, Frank Wright's intelligence and knowledge is A1. And this guy, Nick, has been soaking it up since 2014. So he, um, Wright, obviously was hired um, in Philly. And then he left Philly in 2018. 
Um, but since Nick has been with the Indianapolis Colts, um, he's been there for the last three seasons, he has, the Indianapolis Colts have had a top 10 offense in two of the past three seasons. Phillip Rivers completed 68% of his passes um, this season for 4,000 yards, 24 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. And Nick has worked with other great quarterbacks as well as Andrew Luck, who, of course, you know, he was he was a hot guy. Of course, he retired early just because of injuries and stuff. Um, also, um, the Colts finished 11th, 11 and 5 and 9th in scoring with 28.2 points per game. They were 10th in the league in yards per game. Before his time with the Chargers, before his time with um, Frank Wright with the Chargers and with the Colts, he was with the Kansas City Chiefs in 2009 as an offensive quality control coach. And then he was promoted to wide receiver coach in 2012. And then in 2012, that's when he headed to the San Diego Chargers to work with um, to work with Phillip Rivers. Shout out Phillip Rivers because he is an NC State Wolfpack guy. You guys know I love my NC State Wolfpack. Go Pack. Phillip Rivers, he worked with him from 2014 to 2015. And that was while Wright served as the Chargers offensive coordinator. And then he moved to wide receiver coach. Um, so then of course, once Wright went to the Colts in 2018, he wanted to hire um, Nick as his offensive coordinator. And Nick did have a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot of control, but he did play a major role in the play design. So that'll be definitely important for us um, when he comes to the Eagles because obviously play calling is something that we have to work on. So obviously he has a background in quarterbacks and wide receivers. So it does look like kind of, you know, this will be a good look for Carson Wentz because obviously he has that same mindset and he has the same, he has the same view of what a quarterback should be and what Carson Wentz should look like because he obviously worked as a right-hand man to Carson Wentz's right-hand man who is who was Frank Wright. And he also had a hand in developing Keenan Allen, Tyrell Williams, and Zach Pascal during his career. Those are all great wide receivers. So definitely be interested to see how he would be able to help develop our wide receiver room. So I do like the fact, of course, that the emphasis was on quarterbacks and a wide receiver kind of guru. So that is definitely important for the Eagles because we have a lot of young wide receivers who still definitely need development um, and definitely need improvement in the wide receiver area. We have plenty of raw young talent. We ha we drafted a slew of wide receivers last year. So hopefully Nick can be the guy who can come in and help develop them. And also, of course, with the quarterback situation, we want to be able to have um, you know, a quarter, a uh, coach who has the um, that experience developing quarterbacks, and I know Carson Wentz got a lot of comparisons to Andrew Luck. Um, and obviously he's had a hand in he had had a hand in Andrew Luck's short career in the NFL. So uh, who knows? Um, I do like the fact that it's often an offensive guy. The big question is what's going to happen to Deuce Daly. Um, I guess Deuce would be the offensive coordinator. It would be really good if Deuce, you know, because Deuce has that running back mindset and he can get our running game going extremely well. Then if it's paired with Nick's ability to handle the passing game, handle the wide receiver room, then that would be a great combo. We still have to hire a defensive coordinator, but of course we know that the offense, the the head coach was going to come first. But now that we have the head coach out of the way, this makes a lot of things clear when a lot of things clear when we look ahead to the draft and when we look ahead to free agency. So guys, make sure you like this video, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe and make sure you keep rocking with me. Turn notification bells on and let me know what you want to hear and see because I will be back in the studio soon in my next video. Bye.